when I first started with yoga, it was really an individual process. I was um, feeling that I needed to heal myself in some way or um, understand my myself through my body. And this, this was a, a practice that was really just about being on my mat by myself. Of course, I went to classes and had a teacher, um, but the, the practice was very individual. And as I have moved along in my yoga journey, it's become more about connecting with other people. I think lots of us know that the word yoga means union or comes from the same root as, as to yoke, which is another way of, of uniting. I mean, it's still a individual practice. You, you practice on your own, you do not practice with other people, but to interact with other people um, helps a lot to develop your, your, your own yoga practice. My teacher, Tsakpo Rinpoche, taught me a lot about how opening the heart is possible in your individual practice and um, that really helped me with our relationship and um, on the other hand, on the other side, Liz helped me a lot with my um, practice of opening the heart as well. So I think it was an influence that, that, that um, worked on both sides. So, so my practice um, had influence on our relationship and our relationship had a big influence on my, on my practice, my physical practice and my, my spiritual practice and my meditation practice. My meditation practice, for example, did not exist <laughs> um, and it was something that I really have struggled with and it, it's so helpful to have somebody who has a meditation practice and gets up in the morning and does that and then I can just be in, in that space with him um, and, and kind of feed off of, of his strengths and, and there's a way that we practice together um, in terms of being in a, in a relationship with, with another yogi. And this for me is really a wonderful experience. Um, it allows us both, I think, to, to really commit in a, a way that's um, much deeper than, than one might do on their own. So we decided to do a festival that combines not just yoga, but yoga, different movement forms um, and lots of music and, and then it was just such a fun experience that we decided to keep doing it both in Canada and then also in other places. It, it just came up, it wasn't really a plan to, to um, start a new yoga business or something like that so we don't really see it as a kind of business we are doing it's really something we love to do and something that just happened to us so that's it's a, a nice way to to create a, a a meeting point where we can all kind of grow even though we are individuals with different different perspectives and and different ways of living